SHOT Show 2024, Artists and Cutlery. Russell, how's it going? Oh, it's, it's good. I am tired, but you know what? It's been a good day. This is towards the end of the day on the third day. Uh, and yeah, there's been a lot going on. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm surprised you are. Yeah. 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 Everybody's losing their voice. Okay. Well, Russell's been around with the company now since the beginning. Very we've known beginning. you. Yep. Yeah, we've known you for I don't know five years now at yep. least, yep. maybe Hello. longer. Yeah. Well, what can we show? We're just going to talk about today. What was your favorites from last year, and what are we looking forward to for this year? Okay, so exactly. why don't we scooch over this way for some okay. of my favorites from yeah. the previous year? Now I can't since we did have a lot of releases. I can't say these are like all the good ones, but they're some of my favorites. So, some of your favorites. Okay. A couple of our favorites as well. Let's start over here. Because I do love Cerberus knives. This is the Sader designed by Chris Ortiz. That's I am a huge fan of this man's designs. I love the way this sits in hand. I like how refined this is. I think this is one of the first models we were really pushing with S90. Okay. And with that S90, S90 yeah. tie combination with all the milling and all the peeling. This started just feeling like a very, very refined premium knife. And you know, with our price point, this was a really comfortable price. And it kind of was like, I started seeing all the videos where people were saying, oh wow, that's a real deal. I'm like, that's the same price our stuff has always been. What's going on here? Oh no, we're just really like nailing it. It's really, really nice. Yeah, so I am. Uh, my word for that knife when I first saw it is clean. Yes. It's a very clean looking knife, right? It's, Chris is really like dialed in that design element of his. He's very much a like, he's a very intense. He's a nut about knives. That's what I say. But that is yeah, really yeah. a very intense kind of designer, and he wants these things to be just right. There's a reason why that one was around for. Uh, it was in his prototyping stage for almost two years. Yeah, that is really just crazy. Everything about it is sick. How is it to flick? No, oh, come on. You've been good at this. I know. I can't. Yeah, that one that just has to be a little more snug than usual. We always bother her. Holy if she can... cow! It's really sick. <laughs> That's not going to sell it as well. Okay. Believe me, yeah, I can here, probably flick yeah. it. There yeah, go. go ahead. Show your figures. There we go. Yeah. Come on. Okay. She's been better about this. It's all right. You can. I have little hands. Okay? It's fine. Have you seen my hands? You know what? They're not really that big either. Hey, I'm trying to make myself yeah. sound You know what, better. though? That may be an advertisement for it. It's got a stiff detent, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, oh, okay. You make it look easy. I think maybe it's been a long day for you. Yeah, anyway, for let's, let's keep okay. going. What have we got? Right. This on, is all 2023, on. right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So one of the big ones for this, or for last year, yes. the BOA. I mean, one, this is uh, Jonathan's first design with yeah. us. And I believe, I believe his first design that was done. Uh, we signed him at 17 years old. And yes. And did a fair co-sign his contract, but yeah. man. It is so good. The BOA still is a fantastic design. I love how we did these inset scales. Uh, I know we had uh, two versions that didn't have them. And then this is also one of the first ones we did that was uh, Kickstarter. So it's kind of a, an odd thing to do, but it worked out kind of nice for us. Yeah. I mean, the way that it just kind of like, it really helped show what people wanted. And uh, considering that the Kickstarter completed in four days and we're like oh okay i think you want this knife that's pretty good yeah yeah this thing uh this racked up some real sales i'll, I'll yeah. say that much we what, did our video of ours um i believe it was the micarta one actually okay I, I think it was between that or the stippled one okay obviously the full what did that retail for? uh the 215 ish was the price on the kickstarter so, so a little bit higher than average for us but it really came down to like how we did the machine on here you know it's it's a bolster lock where it's got the scale inside, it's matched, it's matched the sides, it's a real piece of work, and it really just came out so nice. We did have to do a little extra work to get this one just right, and that's probably, it's one of the few models we had that just had a little bump in the price point, but it wasn't a lot. Yeah, well, and it took a little bit more time. It too, did, so. it really did, yeah. but I'm happy with it. I, I do um, I do wish I owned one of those like fancy full tie, full yeah. polished ones, but that was just like, Fancy, fancy. That was, was a bit super fancy. Oh boy. Well, I was going to say, see our video from three or four months ago with the boa. Uh, we were impressed. Our audience liked it, especially hearing the designer's age, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, moving on there. Moving on. There's a couple. Well, oh, this is one of your favorites. Oh, that yeah. was one of my favorites overall from 2023. And look, mm -hmm. there's a Frankie size. Yeah, now there's a his and hers, but the accelerator. Yeah, this yes. thing. So we really hit it out of the park with this yeah. guy. I mean, it was, it's Thai, it's got the frag finish, it's got S90, and yeah. this just came out swinging. Like, it, it, no one, ex like, I didn't expect us to run this one with the frag. I thought we were going to do a plain handle one, do the tie 
by, you know, and then we did the frag pattern, and then it was also S90, and like, whoa, what are we gonna do that? The same price as everything else. It was a $200 knife with just the work. And this thing is like, there's a lot of metal behind this thing. Like, look how yes. big this thing is. Yeah. I haven't been into bigger knives as much over the last couple of years, and that one really got my attention. Well, that one, like, got you back into yeah. big uh, A little bit, a little bit, yeah, yeah. Let me see real quick. Thank you. Again? Nice. Very nice, yeah. Let me jump. Look at this one. Well, and that's gonna be yours, right? Yes. Yeah. It fits in my hand absolutely perfectly. Yep. Uh, it's a little so nice. weird because it really is kind of it, the grip terminates in this one. So yeah. if your hand doesn't fit, it's not quite right. But yeah. for like smaller hands, it is pretty great. It's awesome. Well, and that's a good point too. It's um, it's got to work for your hand size, yeah. right? Um, I'm a little cramped for this for this particular style on that knife, but. Um, Just hang your pinky off. Sure, right, yeah. No, I can see why she's gonna love this yeah. knife. <laughs> but the nice thing about the big one is that it's a little bit less terminating because, you know, if you've got small hands, you can choke up. I love this particular grip of this one. I got a whole hook in the back sticking off, but this for me feels really nice. And if I'm working, this is a really nice grip if I'm getting in close. And I can, I can choke back and, you know, grip up your or I can even really, you know, um, I think, yeah, Mike was doing this with this thing so much and he had a good time with it. But, <laughs> Yeah. Also, working with Mike Snowdy is an absolutely fantastic experience. The man is just... He's he, uh, a name that's been around for a long time. He is, he is quite a character. He yes, is a yeah. lovely person to chat with. He has a whole bunch of information about the industry. And, you know, he was a real, like, a real character back in the day. And he's still quite a character now. But he's a bit more mellowed out since I first saw him, you know, uh -huh. with his grill and his glasses and the whole works back in, you know, when I started collecting knives. But I am... I'm happy we got a chance to work with them, and it's been an absolute joy to get these into the world. Well, we're loving them, well, for I sure. Well, and I love frag pattern with yes. the gold pivot yeah. and the gold backspacer. I just love that. Just a little touch of something. Exactly. That's uh, been a huge hit for us, I you know? Love that just a little bit of hardware yeah. accent, or yeah. hardware, yeah, yeah details. Yeah, tiny, tiny bit. Yeah, yeah tiny, sure. Tiny little bit. Well, now we're looking into uh, 2024. All right, here are some, well, one non-proto, one available, and four protos. So let's start with, that, with the one that's available now. Yeah. This is the Waden, designed by Nick Rogers at, at Niche Designs. I, the more I've handled this one over the course of the show, the more I've just been like, this we, we is an absolutely fantastic design. Like, look at, look at the profiles. It's like a spear yeah, point. Look at that. It's got this kind of like, we did this raised backspace with a bit of, bit of contouring. Oh. There's tons of milling in there. Of course, the, 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 the Hamsu shield, the clip is milled, but, and then um, the front foot added a little bit of an S curve there, so if you really are just kind of, you know, pops it a bit easier. But overall, there's something about this that I can't quite put my finger on because it feels <laughs> Maybe the front way. flipper? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know. <laughs> I, I'm trying to find a comeback for that, but I'm like, it's too late in the day. Shoot, sorry. No, but the whole thing is, this kind of has a traditional vibe, but there's nothing traditional about it's this thing at all. It's very futuristic. It is. It's kind of like, uh, yes. it's, it's, like a, it's like a future where things are okay kind of night, rather yeah, than dystopian. Weird. Okay. Yeah, no, I love it. I love it. Very uh, that, that blade is yeah, very like, stylish. Yeah, yeah that's, this one's getting my attention. Yeah. Do we know, you said it's available now or yep, not? It is available now. Okay, what are they going for, price-wise? Uh, I believe it should be around the same uh, $200, $200 street price. Price point is the majority of our tie knives. Yeah, yeah. This is an S90 full tie, and you get that little bit of tie Damascus, which is a nice touch. Yeah. Nice, I, I love, love it. it. Yeah, that is really nice. Available now. Okay. That's All right. It's more Battlestar Galactica than Firefly. Got it. Oh, there you go. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, nerd. But now what are we talking yeah, about? Super yeah, nerd. super okay. nerd, right? <laughs> what are we talking about now for uh, that's in the works and not available All yet? Right. So let's start off on this side. My boy Dylan Mallory can do yes. no wrong. This is the the Ornus. And this one was actually, this has actually been in the works for a long time. We actually had a CGRB prototype about three years ago that just, we were like, yeah, it's just under the rug. It didn't quite work right. But after several revisions and a lot of kind of tinkering, this is what happened. It's an absolutely it beautiful really looking knife. Well, and you're saying, you're saying CJRB, it was the original. Yep, and now, now it's, it's artisan. artisan. It's yes. dressed up, it's got its yeah. S90, it's got a nice thin blade, it's got full tie, it's got that nice like swoop on it. Yeah. That is, that is really nice. Is and so he nice. mentioned uh, Dylan Mallory. Yep. He's been with the brand for a little while now. He was one of our very first designers. Yeah, yep. Good yep. dude. Unfortunately, he couldn't make it to this show. Uh, Georgia, the flights from Georgia got a little pricey. So oh. we're, we're bringing him to Blade West. Oh, there you go. Or wow. sorry, uh, Blade, Texas. There we, we go. Were hoping oh, he was, we were hoping he was going to be yeah, here. Yeah, 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 next okay. time, next time. All so right. 
next in line. Actually, you, you didn't get a chance to handle it. Come on. Well, okay. I, I, not necessarily on camera. Wow. That flicks uh, surprisingly easily. Does it have a good B10? I mean, I got a... You notice the button lock actually feels a little bit different on these. We did a little modification to it. I believe we made this kind of more of a premium button lock. So there's a bit more machining that goes into making the parts of this one that makes it a bit nicer. Well, and that's going to raise the price a little bit, right? Yeah. yeah well, I mean, it's already full tie S90. Yeah, like, yeah. What's, what's an extra button in the process? It should be the same price <laughs> as all the other ones. This is why we talk, We love talking to Russell. <laughs> it's true. It yeah. is really nice. Though. So right. let's move on to one of my, I mean, I, I love all these. They're so good. I do have a soft spot in my heart for this one. That is the Revel, designed by Ray Laconico. And oh. I, yeah, uh, we have a lot of Ray Laconico knives from over the years. Yep. Yeah. Ray, Ray makes a lot of stuff and he's really good at it. Yeah, he's a good guy too. Yeah, we so like him. I love him. his animals. <laughs> I do, I love he his animals. Love his well, we follow him a lot on Instagram as well, don't we? Yeah. So I had to beg and plead Ray for this design because I own a custom Revel and, I, and I'm in love with it. But this one, he was like, yeah, I don't know, maybe not. And I'm like, come on, man, please. <laughs> and he's like, oh yeah, sure. So, so we got to do okay. this one, and I'm really happy. It is such a fantastic, it, it's, it's really one of his most recent customs that he did as a series. I think it shows a lot of evolution from like, you know, I think if See, Rain, you I can flick a knife, yeah. 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 Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, but I think if Rain, I think some of his older collaboration models. And this is a very different feature. There's a lot more evolution here. I like there's a bit more, like the blade's got a more a bit more aggressive feel to it. The, the opening hole is something he has only really started doing. The handle is very laconical, but it also goes really well with the blade. There's just, there is some like evolution to his design language. Do you want to handle it? I can handle it. Okay. Sure you can. Love the pivot. That's, that's another word I'm gonna use for this knife. It's clean, oops. See, I'm doing it left-handed. And I cut my finger last night. Yeah. Oh, this is nice. On How that knife. happened? On Who a knife. Who would have uh, guessed? I know, he's such a noob, it's so embarrassing. <laughs> Come on, no, I honestly joke, I honestly joke about this. For as much as we uh, handle and flip and play with knives, we don't cut ourselves all that much, and I finally did again. This, yeah, I don't know. It is anyway. always like a mark of shame. It's like, ooh, I guess so. Ooh, the band aid in the video. Ooh. Right. Yeah. 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 All right. Now, what's up? Uh, what what Moving on. New design by Dirk Pinkerton. I swear. Dirk Pinkerton. Yeah. Dirk can do no wrong with his handles. This thing just is. <laughs> it's. He always designs like a beast of a knife. It's like it's, there's always some like substance. Yeah. To it. Even. Well, like, let me even see if this. It's not the biggest. Like even the smaller yeah. knives are still like. They're very square. Yeah. They look blocky, but in the hand, they feel incredible. Yeah, then you don't, yeah, you get it in hand well, and you're like, wait a second, this feels different than it looks. These so. scales are contoured, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Just they're not, they're, they're not blocky. They have aggressive chambers to them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, love the accent on the pivot. Yeah, look at that. Yep. I hope it's coming through on video, but it's got nice acoustics. This yes. is always <laughs> his signature, too. The, this the little imping. dipping. Yeah, imping. Yeah. Yeah. Imping. Okay. I think that was uh, Shabazz who did that. He called it imping. Okay. Nice, nice. But, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I'm you can always tell his knife for that. I've, I've been describing this knife as a bit of a, um, a thirsty knife. Because if you get it in a full grip in your hand and put your thumb up, that blade just kind of leans forward into a cut. Right, it okay. feels like it wants to do something a little not box cuttery. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, that's a good way to describe so it, right? Like a tomato cuttering yeah, or something I, I of the cut, sort? It'll cut tomatoes just fine. Yeah. Like a little juicy. <laughs> yeah. it, is, it is very much along the side of a tactical knife. Yeah. I do believe that while it's just a very, like, it's very sexy. It's very interesting, but uh, oh, also of course you, you know if you're doing this, you gotta you know do the tack to hold because uh, sure. this, this yeah. feels great. There's I don't know anything about knife fighting. Let me let's be honest, but I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> well, so what good. you know about knife fighting is that you at least need to have one in each hand. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So get two. But why not? Hand. Why not two in each hand? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure. knives. Here you go. Put this one in the other hand. There you go. Oh, right. Come on. Yeah. It's the same <laughs> knife. <laughs> And that is definitely why we love this guy. <laughs> yes. Oh, wow. Okay. The pure joy. The pure yeah, joy. Exactly. All right. Moving what, on. Moving what on. What haven't okay. we shown Love here. it. Fantastic job, Dirk. Next on the yeah, roster, yeah. this fantastic piece by a Jarvin yeah, Shaw. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, nice. Okay. Triple strike. He's 18 yet? He's 18 now. Oh, he's, he's, in the, he's in the Canadian military. Oh, yeah. That's right. Yeah, Just saw is, a picture yeah. of him fully kitted out for, uh, <laughs> for snow. It's like, dude, that looks... That looks warm, <laughs> but this is the prime, and I, I love the I love the design of this because there is something about this that really kind of speaks to me. Uh, it reminds me of those um, 
the Mariner style knives, the one with the marlin spike on the back and the, the sheet foot and the little like brass barrel. And he is, he does spend a lot of time on boats. And I think this is really- Canada's known for their oceans. You know, right? Yeah, right? Those Canadian oceans. <laughs> I know, I'm like, ah, Canada must have ocean somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> just around the whole, around the whole country. We were actually just in Canada a we month were, ago. We yeah, were. yeah. No, that's um, so. Is this? <laughs> what are you guys doing there? Oh, Washington. you know what? I went, we went home to Washington right, State. It sense. is um, twenty minutes north. So there you go. we went there for Indian food. Which yeah. Was random. I, I, I hope you can it see had that Indian food. It did. You yep. can see all that on a separate <laughs> channel, probably. I no, is this his second design? With this, you guys, or is this his second design, like, period? This is his second design with us. He's got a couple other ones out there. He yeah. has really been leaning into working and trying to get himself a real, like, solid name. Yeah. And honestly, this one is a bit of a departure from what I've seen, because he's kind of got things that are a bit more like the boa. Yeah. This is a bit more refined. And here, let's just pass this one over. Well, and okay. let, let's get the boa out as well to put him... Uh, to compare. To compare, like, you'll yeah. You'll see the similar language, Yeah. but they are quite different in their own way. I mean, yeah, they really not are. just the scales. Yeah. But it's still got his signature little, like, you know, thumb, you know, divot right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But this one is a very trim knife. It's very slim. Well, it's so thin. But I love that. And the contour. That's, yes. Yeah. I just, I, I wish, like, all titanium knives would do that because I just love the thing. I love that we did that with it. Yeah. It was kind of like that ripple effect mm -hmm. instead of the, the straight micro milling, which, of yeah. course, is lovely. But this adds a bit more character. Also, yeah. I love that kind of, like, hatchet-shaped clip. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Also, I don't know how he did it, but that clip feels fantastic in the hand. Like, it really just kind of disappears. Yeah, it does. Yep. <laughs> and especially with the knife that thin. Normally, you'd have any clip is going to feel really, like, bitey in the hand. But that well, one does not. Yeah. You mentioned thin, and it is. We've been talking about that for the last, uh, yeah, well, really, year. Thin. Forever. Thin Forever. is, well, thin is in, right? Yeah. Is what we were saying? No, that's... It's been such a huge hit with carry, especially yeah. in the summertime. It a really thin is. knife, mm -hmm. and you can still have a full-size knife if it's thin. It will carry well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. This knife is really fun to play with. Uh, it's looking like it. It yeah. really is. Yeah, yeah. It's great. I would um, say also the great thing about that blade and that kind of cheap footy blade is it really does feel like a work knife. There's really just like you know I can use it, not worry about yeah. it cut effectively, it's got that great grind to it, and I feel like the aesthetics of this have appealed to something like, there were some people here who just immediately gravitated towards that, yeah. because it feels like a really high-end, heavy user that isn't like a giant, chunkin' piece of metal. Right, yeah, I can like, see that. It's a cutter. And there's a couple of those giant chunks of metal here. <laughs> no, not here. Well, I'm talking. At, I, got here a, too. I, have the I have a fractured opponent if you, yeah. you want to see it. Okay, want to see it. You grab it. Right. Grab play. it just because everybody's going to want to see it now. Yeah, yeah. He, he's a bit chunky. Let's let's play this game. You know, it's, it's <laughs> how many of our other knives can fit inside a opponent. <laughs> oh, wow. There we go. You can yeah. handle this one so we can see everybody uh, yeah. And we with did just do size. the frag version. That was oh a one gosh. from last year that also did quite well. I, it lightened it up a little bit. Yeah, though, a little right? bit, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, I like it. It's just going to be one of those knives I'm never going to carry. Right. Not for me, though. I mean, well, it would be a good summertime carry. Right. Where sure. your, your shorts would just be down around your ankles. Uh huh. Yeah. I, True. It would. I can make a joke here, but I'm not going to. You, you probably could on this channel, yeah, I, you know, Go it'd be okay, it. but... I mean, if you wore it right in the front, maybe you get a good, like, you know, little, the little, like, crease. <laughs> get the happy, we'll call it the happy trail knife. The happy trail. Okay. I love it. I love it. And maybe I, maybe I like it more now. I don't know. Yeah. All right. If you wear it inside the pants, um... <laughs> oh, man. This guy's awesome. Uh, I said nothing. I said nothing. Days give it, there. give it another thwack on camera here. A thwack? Yeah, sure. Yeah, I mean, it thwacks. It yeah. And you can hear it from the other, from an aisle or two over, right? Yeah, you really yeah, can. Yeah. Yeah. The acoustics are uh, loud, shall we say, in that one. Yeah. Let's just look at the difference. I would sure. say I would gravitate more towards this one. Uh, his and hers? Yeah. Fine, yeah. Well, what about this? Uh, what was the model again? That was the Prime. The Prime? The Prime, okay. And what's, it's in the works? It's not in production when, yet? When will this be available? We are shooting to get these out, before, uh, well, obviously before the end of the year. Okay. But we're hoping to have all these out before mid-year. Okay. Before Ideally, Blade Show? We'll see. Hopefully. I got to get these designs out to the... Because this is our first time with these at all. And I think only uh, Ray, uh, Dylan has got his. Dirk has his. I got to get these out to Jonathan and get them all disassembled and sent to Canada. Got to get this out to Ray. Just... Sending to Canada? That's going to be a pain in the butt, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, a little bit. Uh -huh. yeah. It's okay. It's <laughs> it really John's worth it. <laughs> but we got to get these out to the designers. These ones, they're both... They're, Dylan's sitting there with his knife playing with it. Dirk's enjoying his. 
And once we get them verified and designers are all happy with them, then they'll be in the works. And we should get those out within about two months of their final verification. So it could be as soon as April, it might be a little bit later, but we should have all these out before, hopefully before Blade Show. Nice, okay. Now we're Blade talking Show Blade Light. Show Atlanta yeah. now, no, right? Blade Show yeah. Texas, that'd be amazing, but no. Um, That's like Blade Show Atlanta. <laughs> Atlanta, we're still calling the real That's Blade, the Show. Blade Show. That's the yeah. real one. Yeah. Blade Show yeah. Is Blade Show. All right. Big Blade well, Show. That's a good overview for now, isn't it? Yep. Um, look to our channel for more okay. throughout the year, hopefully with with artists and some of these knives. Mm -hmm. And yeah, last year. I have a year, question though for Russell. What's the question? So, if you had to have one knife for the rest of your life, what knife would you choose? Kind of like what's your favorite, but yeah, yeah what's oh, the, for the rest of your life? That's yeah. all you get. Is it only from artisan knives? Yes. Actually, all right, fine. I oh, I geez. will still say this because that is one answer I can actually give. Okay. Uh, my my forever, and because I literally want every version of this knife, it will be the Orion. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Like I, Chris, if you're listening, man, I love the Seder, but this is <laughs> this is the OG. Like this knife will always be your 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 go-to. I have so many of these, and I I even now after having this and still I still carry the prototype of this knife. I have had this for, I believe, almost four years. Yeah. I have in my little, like, little, my little wimpy knife storage case. How many case knives unit. do you have? Yeah, I, I probably shouldn't say. You should. I, we have a problem. We want to bring your into our addiction. <laughs> I, I, since I work in this industry and I do, unfortunately, come to these shows on yeah. company money, uh, I may have uh, four <laughs> cases of knives. Four cases? Okay. Uh, each holds about 70. I, I, uh, I, I, no. I'm glad you think so. We have a problem. But a you guys have more. a channel. <laughs> yeah. I don't. We got a couple. We have a, we have a problem. Yeah. We just, uh, we have an addiction problem. We probably well, that's why need we're here. Help for it. That's, why, that's why we're here. That's exactly that's why, we're, why here. we're here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I will right. say, yeah, Chris, buddy. Yeah, this that is the winner. Favorite. Awesome. Okay. Well, we got to look at uh, CGRB as well. Uh, yes. But it's we're gonna do, video. yeah, we're gonna do a separate video because there's just too much to talk about. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. Well, we won't take any more of your time, Russell. Well, we are. We're gonna do CGR. Not today, <laughs> right? More yeah. of my time tomorrow. It's yeah. Well, yeah. We're gonna do it too. Yeah. Well, there's, there's there's too much good stuff, right? <laughs> you guys yeah. have a bird guys. Yes, we are. Meet you, Andre from House of Knives. Hi. Oh, how's it going? <laughs> yeah. We're just wrapping this one up. Um, all right. Thanks a lot. Russell and good stuff. Look for more artisan and CJRB knives from our channel uh, for 2024. Absolutely. All right. Thanks a lot for joining us. Bye.